There we go, right at the boat. I was just about to consider raising the rod up to hang, just a slow rod raise to induce a take at the end of the retrieve, and he whacked it a millisecond before I thought to do it. This, well, this is dogging down. It's a brown trout, I think. And we're, oh yeah, it's a nice, nice brown trout. So we're just using these balanced leeches with a floating line. I'm in about six feet of water, casting towards uh, the cattails along the shoreline. The fish at this time of the year, that's the, that's the supermarket. That's where the food are, and balanced flies are an excellent choice, especially cast and retrieve. Looks to be a female, nice fat female. Of course, the males at this time of the year are beautifully colored as well. She's got that balanced leech right in the snout. Balanced leeches, balanced minnows, balanced damsels, balanced scuds, all creatures of the shallows, and just the kind of fodder these beautiful fish are starting to shut feet up on. So I can probably just grab the leader here, take one last admiring look. Look at the colors on that fish, wow. Parklands region of Southwest Manitoba. Unbelievable public stillwater fisheries here. All season long, just a great place. Balanced flies are the way to go. Wow, I'm gonna keep doing that all afternoon, I think. Oh, we have a fish on. He wasn't even really looking at it. To get close. Oh, nice jump. Nice jump. What we call a hit and run. <laughs> Wasn't really looking at it. All of a sudden, I was actually contemplating a fly change. And all of a sudden, boom, I just saw the line starting to move out. And he ate this on the go. Not sure what he ate. We're fishing a two fly rig here. Oh, he's not happy. And he is off and running. That side pressure into the rod, fight them better. And at this point, I want to keep that fish, while it's got lots of energy, away from the boat. I've got two anchors down. I've got long leader here. We're fishing 19 feet below indicator, uh, sorry, from indicator to, to bottom fly, because we're over 22 feet of water. And we're fishing patterns typically at this depth. It's a muddy bottom. Bloodworm patterns are an excellent choice, as are chironomid pupa patterns. Muddy bottoms are prime chironomid habitat. Getting near. I always expect a final surge at the boat, and I'm sensitive. Once I bring a trout within the diameter of the, the rod, that he's tired and sort of steerable, so he doesn't suddenly bolt like that and end up in the anchor ropes or around a motor or any other obstruction. So you don't want to be too aggressive. You want to obviously tire the fish, but you don't want to be too aggressive to get them in. You could uh, put a bad angle on your rod and cause the breakage, or you could wrap up around an anchor rope. I'll just steer them around if I can over this side. My boat's configured to fish out of the left or port side, so I have most of my Equipment lying behind me so it doesn't get under my feet or in the way. And into the bag. Whew. What a beautiful fish, just silver bright. Just gonna reach in and take the fly out. He ate the upper fly, coronum and pupa. Gonna get my glove. Again, put the glove on for the protection of the fish. I can get a good firm grip on his tail if he flops around, he could bang onto the gunnel, he could fall into the water in an unrevived state, or worse, accidentally fall into the boat and that wouldn't be good for him. So what a magnificent fish. Look at that, like a chrome bumper, just beautiful. Let's get him back in the water.
So strike indicators are a great deep water tactic when fish are taking chironomids here in the parklands, but another favorite morsel on the agenda are forage fish. And if you want to catch a forage feeding trout, you need to work the margins, the edges. So we're working along here. Big browns and rainbows cruise along these areas. It's very shallow fishing. Four or five feet under an indicator. They're in here chasing minnows around. So you just pick out likely looking spots. I always like points or openings in weeds. Um, if there's any rocks along the shoreline, you want to work those areas. Balance flies are excellent for this. Either specific minnow patterns or brown olive colored leeches work well because that is the actual natural coloration of the forage base in here. The brook sticklebacks, fathead minnows, those kind of things. So I actually have a dark leech pattern on. I call a bruise leech. It's a black and blue blend. And this looks to be a pretty healthy brown trout. There he goes. Whoa! Looks to be a big brown trout. He's still surging out in deep water. I don't want to horse him. We're using strong tippet here. M minimum, minimum 3x, eight pound tippet. More often 2x, 1x, and 0x is not unheard of. Oh, it's actually a big rainbow. The six weight is being taxed to the limit. When you come here, the minimum rod you want to bring is a six weight. You've got large fish, windy conditions at times, six, even seven weights sometimes. You don't want to show up in the uh, parklands region lightly armored for the battle. Oh, and that is a quality rainbow. Wow. I'm just gonna move him over to the other side of the boat here. Holy smokes, one, two, three. We've got the glove on, the flies out. This fish is, has been sitting in the net and it's, I think it's ready to go. So we may only get a quick glimpse of this. Whoa, look at that thing. Look at that fish. Look at him, wow. That's why you come to the parklands. Arguably one of the premier still water destinations in North America, big browns. Big rainbows, tigers, rookies, they got it all here. Wow. <laughs>